What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jimmy One One One, and I'm back with another video, man. If you're new to the channel, oh, 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 shit! If you're new to the channel, y'all know what to do, man. If you're new, you know what to do. Make sure you drop a like, comment, and click that red subscribe button for me, man. Join the family. To join the family, you just gotta click the red button. Y'all know, y'all know. If you've been subscribed to me for a while, you know we a family. We literally, we are literally a family. But if you're not new, I love you. Thank you for being a part of the family. And everybody drop a like in five, four, three, two, and one. That is love. That is love. That is love. So today's video, I, I, bro, I've been wanting to make this video for a while, bro. I'm not going to lie. I thought I already made this video, but it looks like I didn't. I want to talk about fast food. I'm sure you guys already know like everything about fast food, but for those that don't, because I know I'm, bro, we're growing hella fast. The family is growing really fast, bro. We are at like 15.3K, I'm pretty sure. Bro, we've been growing like crazy over the past few weeks, man. So a lot of y'all probably knew. So welcome, 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 welcome to the family, man. And, you know, this is a channel where we talk about mental health, physical health, you know, spirituality, everything, everything, everything. And I need to get y'all right, man. I need to get y'all right. But before I get into it, man, hey, let's play that intro. Doors to the brand new crew. Money stand tall from the floor to the roof. Talking out on me like, who are you? We not the same, you don't do what I do. Looking at my stacks, no green, all blue. Just to get here, a lot of pain I've been through. Got me hella chains, not one, not two. Everything I say, I'll make come true. And I feel like I won the lottery. That's how I feel when I'm just with you. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So let's talk, man. Let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. So fast food, fast food. I'm sure we all know that fast food is not healthy. I mean, that, that's common sense. We all know that fast food is literally, you know, not healthy. But what does fast food really do to your body? What does fast food, what does fast food really come from? Like, what, do, what does it do to you? Well, I'm here to tell you, like, I'm not going to be one of those spiritual people who says, bro, you have to go vegan. You have to go vegan. Like I said this before, you don't have to be vegan and be spiritual. It'll most definitely help you. It is most definitely a, a great choice for you, but you don't have to be vegan. But you need to stop eating fast food. If you want to eat meat, you got to stop eating fast food, bro. You have to cut the fast food out. Like not even on no spiritual shit, bro. Just like, bro, you need to cut that out. You need to cut fast food out. So let's talk about what it is, first of all. Fast food, you know, it's food that's made fast. You know, you get your food within minutes, within two, three, five minutes, depending on how long the line is. Bro, that food's already pre-made, right? Same shit, McDonald's, Burger King, Chick-fil-A, all these places are all the same, bro. They're all the same. They they can tell you they use real chicken, bro. It's, it's all a lie, bro. All, all the fast food places, bro. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I kid you not. Food is a weapon of this matrix, but we'll get more into that after I finish saying what I'm saying. So, I don't know if y'all know, but it's it's not it's not real meat. It's it's not real chicken. It's not real beef. Whatever they say it is, it is not. It is artificially made. Some of it is artificial, like literal, like artificial, like not meat at all. Like, bro, if y'all have done research, like I heard that KFC is starting to three D print chicken nuggets, a whole bunch of shit, but it's artificial. Bro, 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 pause, pause, pause. My nigga, I was right. They literally admitted to fucking 3D printing chicken. I'm about to read y'all this article, bro. Stay tuned. Look, look, look. All right, y'all. Peep game, peep game. These niggas said, okay, so y'all already love fucking chicken's chicken, right? Or whatever the fuck that shit says. Well, are you game to try a 3D printed version of KFC Nuggets? My nigga, What? The company is teaming up with a research lab in Moscow, Russia to, pro to produce lab-grown nuggets that have the same taste and texture. What the fuck? What? It is not real meat. Second, they take meat from other animals like horse meat, freaking, uh, what else? Rat meat, mouse meat, a whole bunch of stuff. They take different meats from different animals that you would never eat, that you would never think of eating. And they, that's, that's where some of that shit is from. And third, third, that shit is human meat. Some of it is human meat. I kid y'all not. You're like, y'all know, like, if you've been watching me, y'all know about the entire system. Like, y'all know, I got banned last week, so I really got to be careful. But, you know, how do I say this without, how do I say this with being careful? 
All I'm saying is y'all know how they like to kidnap, you know, people. They like to take people, organ harvest, adrenochrome, take our kids. You know, there's literally million, like there's literally like a million people that go missing in the U.S. a year. And there's a, uh, about 800,000 kids that go missing a year in the U.S. I'm telling you, bro. I'm t I kid y'all not. I kid y'all not. But that's besides the point. I don't want to get too into that. But you should just know you're not eating real meat. All right. It's not what they say it is. It is not what they say it is. It is GMO. It is artificial. It is from different animals. It is from humans. Literally, it is from humans. You feel me? Now, what is this food doing to your body? This food has no nutritional value at all. Right. This food has no nutritional value at all. You know, this this food literally leads to, to, to death, to cancer, to sickness. Y'all be wondering why you get so sick. It's because of what you eat. It's, you get sick from what you put in your body. Food is a weapon that these people use. Like, bro, they... Oh, I don't know if y'all saw this video. This video on... um What was it on? It was, it was everywhere. It's everywhere. It's on YouTube, TikTok, all of it. And a few people have done it. They kept a McDonald's burger, right? They kept a McDonald's burger. This one lady kept a McDonald's burger since for like 20 years, right? For 20 years, just to test some shit out, bro. You know, the burger did not look different than when she first got it. The burger literally looked the same. So, and not just the burger, the buns, the fries, everything looked the same, right? This, y'all don't know what you are eating. If it was a real burger, you know, real bread, you know, natural shit, right? Natural shit, right? Why? The burger would go bad. It would start getting moldy. It would start going green. A whole bunch of shit, right? It would start going moldy and green. Shit like that. This burger looked like it came straight out of the, straight out the shop. Literally. It looked like it came straight out the shop. I'm going to try to find a video and freaking insert it. We'll see if I do. If I don't, that's tough. All right, y'all. So I had I had put the video in and I tried to upload it to YouTube, but it said it got copyrighted. So I, I had to take it out, y'all. So I'm just going to upload the video like this. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't put it in there, but hey, let's get back into the video and drop a like if you haven't yet. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. But literally, it's, it's terrible. It is terrible. You feel me? So w w what could they be? What could that thing be that is keeping that? burger so so looking so fresh they put they first of all like i said you know most of it is not even real it's not even real meat not real beef from a cow none of that shit bro second of all they be injecting it injected with some some shit bro who knows what the fuck they do but it's not safe you feel me it is not safe what does eating fast food you know consistently lead to it leads to obesity it leads to you know Problems with blood pressure, at least to problems with mental health. I swear, I swear, what you eat has to do with how you think. Your mind, body, and soul are all connected. You feel me? How you treat one will always reflect, you know, on the others. You feel me? You take care of your body. You're also taking care of your mind and your soul, you know. You don't take care of your mind. You're going to have problems with your body and your soul. You it's all connected. It is all connected. Like, bro, y'all can't even lie to me. Let's say you went to McDonald's, Burger King, Chick-fil-A, wherever you go, if you still eat fast food, which I really hope you don't, but wherever you go, when you eat that food, I know that that should be busting, that should be tasting good as you eat it. How do you feel after? How do you feel after? You might feel sick. You might feel, oh my gosh, I need to throw up. Or you might feel big. You might feel bloated. You might feel like heavy, right? You feel heavy. You feel like sluggish. You feel like, oh, I need to go lay down. I ate too much. I'm so full. This and that. That's not how you're supposed to feel after you eat a meal. Do you do you realize that? You're not supposed to feel sluggish after you eat a meal. You're not supposed to feel tired after you eat a meal. The meal is supposed to help you. It's supposed to raise your vibration, but it, fast food is bringing you lower. Even meat itself. Even real meat itself, bro. But most of the, all the fast food, it's bringing you lower because it is unhealthy food. It is not nutritious at all. It is not helping your body. Deep fried, fucking terrible shit, bro. It is terrible shit. Like, bro, them shits, them shits come frozen, bro. Like, I hope y'all know there is a, an entire case on McDonald's serving human meat. There literally was. I'm going to try to find the screenshot and put it in here. I'm going to try to find it. 
All right, y'all, so peep this shit. Peep how they try to say this shit was a, a false rumor. They said false rumors about McDonald's restaurants using worms as fillers in their hamburgers. That shit, not, that shit is not false. I believe that shit, bro. That shit nasty as fuck, bro. It says reports of, of the food being messed with horse meat. Oh, my gosh. And if you keep looking down, this shit says human meat, horse meat, and human meat in the freezer, bro. Them niggas got caught. It's not only McDonald's because all of all of these are owned by the same group of people, bro. It's all an illusion. They're not competing with anyone. They're competing, bro. There's no competition. It's all literally the same shit, bro. The same shit. It's all used for the same agenda. It is a weapon. I'm telling you, it's the the food system is another way of control. You feel me? It's another way of control. Here's their plan. They, they get people... Because fast food is another way of addiction. People can be addicted to food. Just like how someone can be addicted to drugs or sex or a whole bunch of stuff. It is another addiction. Food is an addiction. You get people... Who, and not only fast food. Just the entire food industry. You know, you kids. You feed kids all these chips. All this candy. Shit that is killing them mentally and physically. It's killing them mentally and physically. You feel me? And... These people, oh my, oh my gosh, that shit is terrible, bro. I didn't keep calling me. That shit terrible, bro. I'm telling you, bro. It is a weapon. So they get people hooked on this fast food. Not even fast food, it's all of it, bro. The entire food system, just the unhealthy GMO products, right? And it's poisoning us. So it then leads to what? It then leads to us growing up and having health problems. Like high blood pressure or diabetes, or cancer. That's where it comes from. They never want to tell you what cancer comes from. I'll tell you what cancer comes from. It comes from what you eat. Literally, it comes from what you eat, what you drink, from milk, from meat itself, from fast food. That's where cancer comes from, bro. That's where it comes from. But guess what? They will continue to feed us this fast food. Well, not me, I don't eat that shit, but they'll continue to feed y'all that fast food because it's a system for control because you, you get fed that food as you grow up. You're like in your 30s, 40s, having health problems. You go to the doctors. You're now dependent on, on, on these pills or the blood pressure pills that they give you. Or you have cancer, so now you got to get chemotherapy, a whole bunch of stuff. It's a system to keep you trapped in the matrix. I'm telling you, food is a weapon. Food is literally a weapon. You understand me? It's, it's terrible. They literally... Bro. And it's not... The crazy thing is it's not even fast food. It's not... I mean, it's not only fast food. Not only fast food, it's in regular meat too. Like y'all who be getting y'all who be getting chicken from the stores. Why do you think why do you think those raw chickens are so big? Why do you think the raw chickens are so big? Why do you think they're so do you think that's a regular size of a chicken, bro? You think they really waited years for that chicken to grow into its full size? Listen to this, bro. From all the meat. If listen to this, if you still don't believe that you know fast food is fake meat or even the grocery store food, some of it is fake meat. If it was all real, they would be extinct. Chickens, cows, all that shit, pigs, all that bacon, it would they would be extinct. They would be extinct, bro. Do you know how many burgers are sold at just one McDonald's location a day? Now, okay, think about. Think about how many McDonald's are in your city. Think about how many McDonald's are in your city. Let's just talk about McDonald's for now. You might have a few in your city, depending on how big or small your city is. You probably, you most likely have more than one. Now, think about how many McDonald's are in your state. Me, I live in Florida. Florida is big as fuck, bro. There's like, bro, in my city, I got like, it's hella McDonald's, bro. Now think about, now think about the state, bro. Hundreds, maybe thousands. No, no, definitely thousands. There's definitely thousands in Florida. Thousands of McDonald's locations. Now think about all the McDonald's in the United States, bro. Think about all the McDonald's in the United States. Think about that shit. Think about all the McDonald's in the United States. Do you think that there's enough animals, animals to feed all those McDonald's? Do you think that there's enough chickens and cows to feed all of those McDonald's in the in, in America. Think about it. No, it's impossible, bro. Now think about every single fast food restaurant. McDonald's, Wendy's, um, Burger King, Chick-fil-A, 
Arby's. Who the fuck eats? I never even when I wasn't vegan, I didn't eat that trash ass Arby's. That shit trash, bro. Fucking, bro. Just think about all the fast food restaurants. Now you should know that there's no way that. Oh, hey, pee my hair shaking in the back, bro. That's sh my shit getting long. <laughs> but there's no way, bro. There's no way that there's enough animals to feed all that shit. And we're not even thinking. We're just talking about fast food. We're not even talking about the regular farms or the regular grocery or the regular things that we buy from the grocery store. All the chickens, beefs, cows, um, pigs, all that shit. There is no fucking way that there is enough animals to feed all that shit, bro. And we're only talking about the U.S. We're not talking about the entire world. It's common sense. You can't tell me that there's enough animals to, to, to do that shit, bro. You have to think that there's something else going on, but there's no way. There's no way, you feel me? I swear to you, there is no fucking way, bro. No way. You don't know what the fuck you're eating, bro. You don't know what you're eating, bro. You don't know what you're eating. You are killing yourself. You are ki You know damn well it's unhealthy. You know it's not. Even if you don't know that, even if you're not even spiritual or woke, whatever the fuck y'all want to call it. You know it's unhealthy for you. Like, everyone knows. It's common sense. Fast food is not good for you. But it's it's much, much, much deeper. It's much deeper. It has to do with control. They are trying to control you, bro. They control us in everything. From the food, from our to our water, to, our, to what we watch on TV, Netflix, Hulu, all that shit, bro. To the school system, to the job system, to the government, bro. It goes, the list goes on and on. Everything is made to control us, bro. Everything is made to control us, bro. <clears throat> Excuse me. Everything. It, it gets that deep. It gets that deep, bro. It gets that deep. Stop eating that shit, bro. You're eating, you're eating fucking humans, bro. You're eating fucking horses, rats. You don't know what you're eating, bro. You don't know what you're eating. Over a million people go missing a year. What do you think happens to them after they're done with the humans? After they're done taking their organs, putting them into sex trading. What do you think happens to them? What do you think happens to the bodies? You think they just waste the bodies? You think they just waste them bitches? That shit is put in your fucking food, bro. That shit is put in your food. That shit is put in your food, bro. Bro, and let me... You no, know, I didn't want to do this, but I'll fuck it, bro. I'm finna do I'm finna talk about it. Let's talk about meat. Let's talk about meat itself, you know. Like I said, I'm not going to come on here and tell you you have to be vegan to be spiritual. This is more... This is more of like health wise, because I said, I said before, you know, your mind, body and soul are connected. It's connected, right? It's all connected. Now, let me give you my take on meat. All right. Meat is another way of, you know, another way that our bodies are. Hold on. I'm thinking another way that they are fucking up our bodies, telling us to eat meat. That's what it is. Now. I don't know about back in the day, but, you know, now a lot of meat is GMO. A lot of meat is not natural oh, shit like that. But just meat in general for me, not right for me. I hope y'all know. They told us that back in the day, you know, we were hunting animals. We were hunting lions, hunting tigers, killing them, eating, eating chicken, all that. We were not doing that shit, bro. I kid y'all not. We were not doing that shit, bro. We were not eating fucking animals, bro. We did not eat, and my nigga, the animals were our fucking friends, my nigga. We were not eating animals. We we literally talk. We used to talk to animals. There is a way we can communicate with animals, but then what they do? They fucked up our environment, so we lost that, those abilities. But back in the day, I don't I don't know what they told you, but they lied. We did not eat animals back in the past. We ate natural fruits and vegetables grown from the earth. We did not eat animals. You understand me? But they try to tell us, you know, we 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 used to hunt, we used to eat all that shit. No, it's a damn lie. It's a damn lie. We did not eat animals. You feel me? So they put in our minds that, you know, you have to, you have to eat meat. You need to eat meat to get big. You need to eat meat to have protein. You need meat. You need milk to get big and strong, bro. No, 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 none of that shit, bro. Meat. I'm going to be honest. Meat is, is a, is a low vibrational food coming. That's my opinion. This is my opinion. Meat is a low vibrational food. You understand me? Why do you think after you eat chicken, beef, any of that shit, any of that shit, bro, you feel so fucking tired, you feel sluggish, you feel like taking a nap, y'all be like, 
Damn, bro, I just ate good as fuck, bro. I'm tired. I need to go take a nap. My nigga, you did not eat good. You you literally ate death. You ate, <laughs> nigga, these niggas, you literally ate death. That chicken is dead. You ate death. My nigga, you are you are intaking dead energy. You are you're eating death. Why do you think you feel so tired? You're feeling death. You're feeling the energy that that chicken, that meat gave you. And what energy does it have? It has no energy. It is dead energy. It's it's literally dead energy. Meat does not have any nutritional value. I kid you not. It has no nutritional value, bro. Y'all be like, oh, how do I get my protein? There's much more protein than fruits and bro. What did the chi what do chickens eat? What do chickens eat? Do chickens eat meat? Chickens eat vegetables. My nigga, where is the, all that protein coming from? Chickens eat fruits, vegetables. Cows, do cows eat meat? Do cow do cows eat meat? So where's all the protein coming from if cows don't eat meat? My nigga, that shit is coming from vegetables. Cows eat fucking grass all day. They eat grass, my nigga. They eat grass. Why do y'all you... be like, how do I get protein? Protein isn't nothing but chicken and beef. Bro, there's much more protein in natural shit, natural fruits and vegetables than meat itself. Meat is dead energy, literally. It's Why do you have... Bro, if meat is something natural that we're supposed to eat, why can't we eat raw meat, but we can eat raw fruits and vegetables? Why do we have to cook the meat to a certain extent for it to be safe for us to eat? That should be a red flag for you. Why do you have to cook it? Why do you have to cook it? My nigga, what? Why do you have to cook it? Cook it? How come meat tastes nasty as fuck unless you put seasoning on it? And what do you season the meat with? You season the meat with fucking plants and vegetables. Pepper, fucking um, uh, lemons. You 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 season the with natural herbs. Looking, bro, go look in your seasoning cabinet. That shit is all plants and vegetables, bro. That shit is all plants and vegetables. Read the labels. Read where it comes from. That shit is all fruits and vegetables. The fucking seasonings. You're telling me if you if you had an unseasoned chicken right now, you would eat it? No, because it tastes nasty as fuck. Beef. If you ate unseasoned beef, how does it taste? It tastes nasty. Because all meat tastes. The, it all tastes the fucking same. That's why y'all don't, that's why y'all don't know that you're eating fucking human meat. Because it tastes the fucking same. It tastes the same. It tastes the exact same as every other meat, bro. Dead ass. Dead ass, bro. There was some, bro, who said this, bro? Who said this shit? Somebody said this shit a few months ago. I think it might have been Vaughn who said it. Vaughn too cut. He might have said this shit in one of his videos. But I think it was him, if I'm not mistaken. But he said, bro, if he was to cut his own arm off right now, you know, Cook that shit. Season it. You know, you wouldn't know that it's a human, that it's human meat. You literally wouldn't know that it's human meat. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know, bro. Literally. That's how crazy it is. You wouldn't know it's human meat. Stop it. Ugh. That shit is dead energy. Y'all be wondering where cancer, how people get sick. Ever since I've been vegan, I've not been sick. Not once. I've not gotten sick once and I'm never going to get sick again. Y'all be like, you get sick from the code. You, you can't get sick from the cold, bro. Another lie they told us. I don't, you can't get sick from the cold, bro. That's what I believe. I don't, I, I don't think you can get sick from the cold, bro. I don't think so. I don't think so, bro. That shit comes from what the fuck you put in your body. That shit comes from what you put in your body. And like, ugh, that shit is just so terrible, bro. You, you don't need meat to survive. I don't know what these people are telling you. You need meat to grow. That's a damn lie. That's a damn, you don't need meat to survive. And milk, that is, oh, let me, milk, stop, oh, I just pulled my eye. Stop drinking that shit, bro. <laughs> stop drinking milk. Milk, do you know, what the fuck is on my lip? All right, listen, 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 listen. If you're, y'all are probably old, bro. I'm sure no, nobody here is a toddler watching this video. If your mom wants to put her fucking breast milk in a fucking cup, bro. If your mom, or, uh, uh, your aunts, whoever, bro. If somebody get offered you breast milk in a cup, handed that shit to you, would you drink it? My nigga, would you drink it? Honest answer, yes or no? Yes or no? So you're telling me you won't drink human milk. You did as a baby, but you know, you feel like you're too old. So you won't drink human milk because you think it's nasty. But you'll drink a cow's milk. You're drinking cow's milk. My nigga, we are the only species that drink milk that is not from our own species. My nigga, do you ever see a chicken drinking cow's milk? 
a fucking cow drinking pig's milk. You're not supposed to be drinking a cow's milk. My nigga, that shit is full, full of cow blood, cow pus. Literally, it, that's... It's not something natural that we're supposed to be putting in our body. Why do you think so many people are lactose intolerant? So many people are get gassy after drinking milk or in, consuming dairy. You understand me? Same shit goes on with eggs, bro. All that shit, bro. I just, I can't, I can't eat that shit, bro. I can't. That's that shit is not for me. That shit is not for me. Ever since I've been vegan, bro, my life has been much better, my nigga. Much better, <laughs> inside and outside. You know, bro. Before I went vegan, bro, my face was full of acne. Like past the, over the past few months, my face has definitely been clearing up, bro. I, I used to, that's that's where acne comes from. I didn't even mention that. That is where acne comes from. The shit that you eat. Y'all be like, y'all be going to um doctors, how to get rid of acne, hopping on um Accutane, a whole bunch of shit. Um, I don't even know. They be putting on you, they be putting y'all on some sort of pills, whole bunch of shit, bro. No, 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 no. More unnatural shit to cure unnatural shit. Some more unnatural shit. It's unnatural. Giving you pills on how to clear your skin that shit is just making it worse then they give you guys like i said it's all a system then they make you pay for these pills they make you pay for these creams they make you pay for these procedures my nigga acne comes from mucus buildup in the body that's why it has you know white pus you know the white pus that's mucus that's mucus that's inside of your body so where does mucus come from mucus comes from a lot of the shit that you ingest a lot of the shit that you ingest a lot of meat a lot of meat, a lot of meat, milk, and a uh, meat, milk, and a whole lot of other shit, bro. You gotta read what you eat. You gotta, bro. You gotta try to eat as healthy as you can because your health is an investment. It is an investment, and it's gonna help you in the long run. It's connected to your mind and your soul. Your body is all connected. That's why I say, like, I be saying, like, no, like. Spirituality is a lifestyle. You don't have to be vegan. But I, I be telling y'all, it can definitely help you. It can most definitely help you. You know, it can help you on your journey. Like people be like, Jimmy, why why can't I astral project? Why why do I have trouble meditating? But yet you you feed your body bullshit. Like you be eating, my nigga. You niggas niggas just got a twenty piece from McDonald's, eating that shit, trying to hop in meditation. My nigga, why would you be able to meditate? What the fuck did you just eat? What did you just eat? That's not how shit works. That's not like, bro, how do you expect? I said it's all connected. How can you have a relationship with your mind if you are fucking up your body? It's all connected. So you wonder why. So if you're wondering why you have trouble tapping into shit, you have trouble meditating, connecting to your higher self, a whole bunch of shit. What are you eating? What are you putting in your body? It's all connected. It's all connected. Your health is an investment and it's important. And they do everything in their power to destroy our health. Because we destroy our physical health, it's also destroying our mental health and our soul. Uh, I told y'all, it's all connected, man. It is all connected. So, I mean, damn, this shit was a pretty long video, but I'm gonna leave it there, bro. Watch what the fuck you eat, bro. Watch what you eat. Watch what you eat. <laughs> Watch what you eat. Your health is an investment, man. But, hey, I love you, family. If you didn't drop a like on this video, make sure you drop a like. We need the entire world to see this because, bro, we need to break out the matrix. So please, 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 if you haven't dropped a like, because the dropping a like will push the video out to more people, and that's what we need. We are trying to wake up everybody and rebuild our 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 world because this shit is ours. These niggas poison us, bro. <laughs> that ass poison, bro. Fucked our shit up, feeding us trash shit. They feed us trash shit. That shit terrible, man. That shit is terrible. I'm telling you. They program us. They programmed us since a little child. Giving us, um, what, what, uh, ads on milk, you know, telling us to buy baby milk from the, um, from the store, baby food. Yes, that shit, the poison is in baby food too. I'm telling you, the shit that we eat, the shit that we eat affects our bodies and our mind. It's all connected. I kid you not. I kid you not. And if you really don't think it's connected, how could you can't tell me? You can't tell me this. Let's say one day you felt like eating healthy. 
you felt like eating a salad, my nigga. You felt you went out, you went out to lunch with your family, and everybody's over there getting burgers and and chicken and whole shit like that. You're like, bro, it's time for a change. Let me get a salad, bro. How do you feel after you eat the salad? You you probably feel you you feel much better than maybe last week from when you got a fucking double decker fucking triple cheese damn bacon deluxe guacamole sandwich, my nigga. I'm sure you feel much better than today from eating the salad than last week. That shit has to do with your mental health. I kid you not. This every it's all connected. It's connected. It is connected. It is connected, man. Hey, got that retwist. No cap. We looking fresh. We looking fresh, man. But watch what you eat. Watch what you eat. Like I said, I'm not coming on here and forcing veganism on you. I'm not like... Like, y'all been telling me. Y'all, some nigga in the comments had nerve to say... In my TikTok comments had nerve to say, I remind them of the, of the vegan teacher. Bro, I looked at, her, uh, at like a few of her videos, bro. Nah, nothing like her. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not like that. No, I'm not here to force veganism on you because once again, we're here for free will to experience. Like, bro, if you feel like eating meat is good for you, my nigga, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Like that's, it's your life. But like the fast food shit, bro. Like you finna eat meat, fine by me, bro. Get organic shit, bro. Organic, there's organic meats. There's literally organic, organic meat, organic beef, all that shit, bro. Get your shit organic, naturally grown. Y'all be wondering how the chickens get so big. They inject that shit. I saw a video a few years ago of, of, of a lab injecting the raw chickens, making them bitches big as fuck. Making them big as fuck. You know, they, they inject these chickens with hormones and we are ingesting this. We are in, we're, we're ingesting this. I hope y'all know that is how, you know, they, they inject, all right, listen, listen, listen. They inject the chickens with with, I don't know, fillers, hormones to make the chicken bigger. And as we ingest, as we ingest that, that is also fucking with our ho hormones. Like you got some, you got some little ass fucking boys growing man boobs. You also got girls like no, no weird shit, but like y'all got to agree with this. Like girls are, are, are growing, you know, boobs at such a young age. You feel me? Because of what they are eating. You know, it's not natural. It's, I'm not trying to sound weird, but I hope y'all understand what I'm saying, bro. It is, it, it's, it's weird, bro. And it's all because of what we ingest. You are what you eat. You understand me? You are what you eat. What you eat is what you become. My nigga, you are what you eat. So, my nigga, eat what you're supposed to. But <laughs> do you, man, do you. Do whatever feels right. Ask yourself, experiment with some shit, bro. Just do you, you feel me? But I'm gonna end the video off on that note, man. I love y'all niggas so much. Make sure you drop a like if you haven't. All my social media links will be linked below. Make sure you follow my Instagram. That is where I have all my updates. Instagram is trill.jimmy. Link below. I love y'all so much, man. We on the road to 100K. 100K. 100K, my nigga. We are... Bruh. Bruh. We hitting 100K before 2021. Mark my, mark my word, bro. Mark my words, bro. We are hitting 100K before 2021. We're about to hit a million followers on TikTok. We finna hit 100K within the next few months on here. I love y'all, bro. We teeing up this year. This is our year, man. But we gone. I love y'all.